Think so? Yeah, I mean, whenever I play blue in Legacy, I play three to four submerge, but yeah. a lot of the time I, I keep seeing lists that don't have like one, okay. which is unbelievable to me. So. Yeah. Hey. All right, so this is the top four. It's been a, it's been a long day, but uh, we're almost towards the end. After game one, we're going to ask you another trivia question, and we're going to uh, give you six months of premium if you get it right. So, uh, no, you didn't miss the moto giveaway. Um, we're, we're trying to figure out what exactly we could do. Uh, do you think it'd be easier easier if we just add on to uh, to this question? All right, well, all right. Maybe you'll. Uh... Yeah, if, if you want, if you want to win the twenty free <laughs> moto tickets, <laughs> no, just you, Facebook you, friend Gerard. Yeah, and yeah. write write him a one paragraph story about why you feel you deserve <laughs> no, well, for, <laughs> the twenty moto tickets. Okay, yeah, and yeah. then he'll choose one of you. Yeah. Okay. First of all, you're not supposed to say what it was exactly. Did what? I say what it was already? <laughs> what, 20 moto tickets? Yeah. <laughs> all, right. all right. But that's yeah. what Gerard wants to give right. away. This is going to so. be separate. All right, yeah. It's just, courtesy of Tim Atom. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, it is. And, you know, I, I got I to gotta hold my word to Tim. Uh, so, yeah, just send me a message on Facebook um, with uh, with a joke, all right? A one-line joke, all right? I, I, <laughs> or, 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 or maybe it could be like a, like a two-line joke. Okay. All right? But it has to be like a, like a PG... And you have to make up the joke yourself. I'll know if you Google if you now Google this joke. Whoever has the funniest joke, I'll message you back, and you and you and you win the moto tickets. That's actually a pretty good one. So okay. yeah, if you, we Google your joke and it's already on the internet, you automatically disqualify. Automatically you disqualified. Play, you can't play in any more of our raffles. <laughs> 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 All right, so we'll just do that. No take backs. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely easier than, than 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 tweeting in and you know. Yeah. So. But anyway, this matchup. I mean. Paul has Veteran Explorer, and Veteran Explorer, like, gets two lands for Nick. It's not as good against Nick as it was against the Del Rug Delver deck. No, I mean, it's like, it blocks his guys and stuff, you know? Like, they go through one lackey, <laughs> you go Veteran Explorer, it's like... Yeah, it's kind of brutal. Yeah. Yeah. So, but um, they're, they're both looking over their deck list, um, which I like, you know? And, uh... We'll no, see what it's happens. Good to know what you have to, uh, what you have to be playing against. Recurring nightmare. Nicholas looks like he's pretty young. I don't know if he knows what a lot of these cards do. Really? How old do you think he is? How old do I think he is? Yeah. I already. Well, I don't want to be. I don't want to say something. Oh, and that's true. Have, yeah. And then You'd be completely wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. That, that's fair. But uh, yeah, I mean, he's a goblin player. Yeah. You know what's kind of funny? He's playing goblins, and I looked over to the right, but it, but there's no Jim Davis there. Yeah. You know? You'd expect Jim Davis to be there. Yeah. All right. So uh, these guys will get started. I would like to see the finals of goblins versus... What's the other matchup? The other matchup is elves against... Uh, Loam versus elves. It'd be a super, super fast finals. It'd be like three turns each game. Well, elves, elves takes a while to combo. <coughs> Does it? Well, goblins will just win. Goblins will go turn one goblin lackey, turn two attack, and put a siege gang commander into play. Goblins versus elves finals would be kind of funny too because that's kind of isn't that like one of the the tribes you could buy at like Walmart? Yeah, like the, the, <laughs> yeah, the two tribal decks you buy. The elves, the elves versus goblins. Fun pack. Yeah. Goblins versus elves. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty funny. So, yeah, I really want to find these WalMarts that have like all these like, I hear these stories all the time. They're like, yeah, I went to the Walmart and I got twenty five Commander decks for like five dollars each. And I'm like, man, like I go to the Walmart and they have Dark Ascension booster packs for three ninety nine. That's in like a cardboard like box or whatever. So, I don't really go to the Walmart. No, Why did you go there. I don't know. It's like weird. Walmart's not weird. Walmart's good. I like Target. Do you like Target? I go to Target sometimes. Yeah. I got a phone charger there instead of going to the Verizon store because the Verizon store, when I wanted to buy a new phone charger for the phone that I bought there, yeah, they charged me like thirty dollars, and then when I went to Target and got it, it was like three dollars. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, oh no, people are tweeting in the uh, the jokes now. All right. Yeah, 
these jokes have to be like PG, and you have to send them to my Facebook. And and oh, I, I should specify they have to be magic jokes. They have to be about magic. Yeah, they're all magic jokes. I don't know if I made that clear. Okay, so it's like, why did the guy take a mulligan? Because he didn't know what he was doing. Good or no? No, that's not a good one. That's not that. I don't think that one would win. <laughs> Can you think of one on the on the spot? Uh, <laughs> what? All magic jokes. Remember, you guys. It, don't. Why didn't that guy mulligan? Why? It was Gerard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that, one, that one's not too bad. That's a pretty good one, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All okay. right, so Veteran Explorer meets Goblin Lackey. Wow, that's what I was just talking about. This is what you were just talking about. Yeah. It's kind of weird that this deck doesn't play Goblin Guide. Right? But, I mean, Goblin Guide... Goblins isn't really, like, a... I'm all out aggro deck. Yeah, okay. Goblins is like a, and I'm going to produce this endless stream of card advantage yeah. and just overwhelm you kind of deck. Okay. All right, so Paul sacrifices the Whipswap Heath. And he's going to go search uh, the Savannah. All right. So, yeah, Veteran Explorer is just, I kind of want to play that card now. Supposedly that card's out of Commander as well. Oh, this is reprinted in the Commander cards? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Maybe that's what reminded everybody about that card. Yeah. Because I'd completely forgotten about that card until I saw Caleb play it at, like, the Invitational. That's, like, a really cool Commander card. Because, like, you know, both players get get the ability. Uh, there's Strangle Root Geist. That's a pretty good one, too. I, I would just leave uh, the uh, Strangle Root Geist back to block. The Veteran Explorer could get in there. Why not? Ooh, and he trades. Wow. That's interesting. I mean, yeah. maybe Paul should have attacked before he cast Stranger Guys, so that he could have decided what he wanted to do. Yeah, just you know, because otherwise you just give Nick like full information. Because maybe this benefits Nick now. Yeah. Maybe Nick's like, well, now you're only gonna have two lands, so it's the worst you could do, and you already tapped two lands Stranger Guys, and I know if I can get, if I can get a four mana next turn, I'm going to be winning. Yeah. You know, so Nick is able to like just make the optimal play. Yeah. Always cast your spells after combat. It's a right. good lesson to learn. So uh, Nicholas draws. He'll have access to uh, to four four lands this turn. I mean, if he just casts a ringleader, he I think not he in is. that spot. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. But I mean, Paul could just kind of, you know, one up him and, and, and just play one of his bigger monsters. It's true. You no, know, he could he could play a pod and use it. Cause he'll have five lands now. So well, uh, that's pretty good. We'll see what happens. There's that's a ringleader. ringleader. I think he's gonna hit two. He's gonna have three. All right, one, two. Uh, oh, three. Good job. Good job, man. Yeah. I was thinking three to be honest, and then and then I switched last minute. <laughs> okay. What is like the average? I think it's like two point seven. Is it? Right. The average is like really two point seven. It's like pretty high. I don't know. All right. So uh, Paul gets to untap. <laughs> And let's see what he got. Oh, there's a Verdant Catacombs. Wow, his his hand's good. His hand <laughs> is Strangle Root Guys. His hand is Permicious Deed. It's a pretty good hand. That is a good hand. Yeah. So uh, he's going to search his deck. And what do you think he's going to get? Hmm. Bayou? I think he's going to get Bayou. Oh, Bayou. What, what was Bayou. Your oh, what a, what a surprise. He <laughs> oh. got a Bayou. Jake, me and you are just too good. Yeah. All right, so... so I mean, now Bayou, I guess, makes the most sense. Yeah, and he's going to swing in for two. So Nicholas is just going to take this damage. He'll uh, go down to 18 life. And then he'll cast a post-combat... Something very scary. Acidic Slime on uh, the Wasteland. Not as scary as we thought. I mean, no, that's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. Now, something that's funny about Paul's deck is when he fetches, even against Wasteland decks, he almost always wants to grab a duel so that he still has basics in his deck to get with his explorers. Yes. How many bases does he have? I think he has seven. Seven? Okay, that seems about right. No, he's six. Six? All right. That also seems about right. All right, so Goblin uh, Ringleader attacks for two. Paul takes it. And uh, now Nicholas gets a Matron. Do you think he's going to get like a Sharpshooter here? Uh, or like a Siege Gang, maybe? Oh, War Chief. Okay. Yeah, War Chief can kind of let him yes. combo out, especially if he, we know he has another, at least one more ringleader, right? Yes. yes. So, because he revealed it off the first ringleader? Yes. So, 
Yeah, once you start going war chief, war chief ringleader stuff, it gets pretty scary for your opponent. Like at any moment, you could just win, right? Yeah. No. Uh, his reveal was was a pile driver, war, uh, pile driver, matron, um, sacrifice card. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. At least I'm I thought sure. the, I thought the matron was a ringleader. No, no, it was definitely matron. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Uh, Paul uh, is thinking about his options here. He has access to six mana, and he just attacks with the acidic slime. Yeah, Nick's just gonna say, okay, I'll yeah. get a 16, no big deal. Oh, wow. Perthing pod, and that That's can just insane. become a Grave Titan. It's gonna be Sun Titan, I think. You think Grave Titan? I think Grave Titan. Yeah? Uh, yeah. All right, either one, it's gonna be a Titan. So, okay, Grave Titan. And, uh... Alright, Grave Titan. Yeah. That's a beating. That card is good. Yeah, it is good. Um, Nicholas is in... Uh, I mean, he's in really big trouble. Yeah, he is yeah. in... Uh, <laughs> he is in big trouble. Yeah. Alright, so he's got two zombie tokens in the play. Those are the Star City zombie tokens. If you guys want to get them... Yeah, make an order at StarCityGames.com. We'll send you some random tokens. Yeah. If Maybe you get zombies. You get the ones you want. Yeah. Hey, if you and want. if all, you can tell your friends to order from StarCityGames.com, and then they'll get token cards, and then you can trade with each other so that you each have the correct token cards. Yeah. But maybe you just all get zombie cards, and then you can be happy because you got all the zombie cards yeah. that you wanted. All right. All right, Tuck Scrap, we're going to deal with that birthing pod. Yeah, but I mean, he already got value out of it, you know? He got, he got that Grave Titan. That's true. He set an acidic uh, slime, which killed the land, to go get a Grave Titan. The Scrapper also deals four to Paul. Yeah. You know, at least relevant to a certain degree. Yeah, I was thinking he would have got Sun Titan maybe because he has per Paul has Permissious Deed. So Paul could like kind of keep keep recurring Permissious Deed. Oh, he has, yeah, you're right. He, he has Deed in deed. hand. Yeah. And then and then for Nick to ever get to the point where he could jump palm it, yeah, you need to have like, six guys in play. And yeah. when, you have, when you have a Deed recurring, it's pretty hard for your opponent to get six guys in play. They have to get all six in the same turn, right? Yes, yeah. So Some of these jokes are good. We got to talk about it on the break. All right, but um, so, so now he has... Yeah, I mean, he's, he's got a lot of power out there. He's got Grave Titan, he has four 2-2 zombies, yeah. and he's got 2-1 Strangler Geist. My tongue has been hurting all weekend, Jake. What do you think I should do? I think you should rinse your mouth with salt water. Salt water, okay. Yeah. <laughs> serious. Yeah, no, no, it makes sense. <laughs> Alright, Nicholas is, uh, I don't know, I mean... He's just going to try to trade, save some damage. Oof. I that mean, doesn't seem like a profitable. Yeah, I mean, what else well, can I just you don't do? know how you're going to win. Long yeah. Term, if that's, like, your plan. Ooh, permission to eat. I don't know why that matron didn't block that Geist, though. Right? What did it, I mean, uh, Nicholas is on 8 life here. So now he goes to 7 with the Arid Mesa. And I think... Wow, that's pretty nice. Oh, nice. I appreciate that he showed us that. Yeah. That's a, that's a pretty cool Badlands. Yeah, it definitely is. So let's see what Nicholas could do. He's going to have to fight through a deed and try to deal a lot of damage here. There's a war chief. That doesn't help fight through a deed. <laughs> that does not help fight through a deed. Uh, I just kind of... Uh, in fact, his opponent has three lands untapped right now and a deed on the battlefield. Yeah. But there's nothing in his deck that can help fight this deed. It's game yeah. one. Yeah. All right, there's a matron. Go get like a pile driver. I don't know. I mean, I mean, just 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 lose next turn. <laughs> just lose immediately. Yeah. Does, no does, matter does what Nicholas you get? not realize that it's eleven o'clock? And <laughs> come on, he's he's in the top four of a tournament. He's, he's slow like, rolling all of us right here. So. I think uh, Paul. Oh, I thought Paul was extending the hand. <laughs> 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 that actually pretty funny. It's like, wow, this is, that's a little premature. Yeah. It's like still in the middle of game one. Yeah. All right. So. Uh. Yeah, I mean, Nicholas just scoops up. I don't know when he was deeding. He didn't have priority to deed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What, so Matron resolves, he goes against the card. You know, uh, Nicholas still has priority. Yeah. Yeah. So. Maybe he did it like in a sense step. Who Nick passed? Yeah, I don't know. It didn't matter, but 
But Paul's up game one, and we're going to have our question right now. This is going to be good. Yeah. All right, so this is for not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not seven, but... Six. Six. Yes, come on, Jake. Team. Get with the program, Free, man. No, six. Just six. Three months of premium. Yeah, you're like the girl that I asked at the kindergarten class, what's two plus two, and she honestly said one. That's the story. Okay, so. Maybe she thought you were asking her what two divided by two was, and she just wasn't listening very well. I don't think kindergarten is no division. But anyway, regardless of the fact, <laughs> we're going to give you six months free premium. Jake, do you have the question? Do you want me to do the question? What, what, what do you want to do? Do the question. You got the question? Sure. All right. So uh, earlier today we covered a match of somebody who was playing goblins, and this person is probably more well known as a goblins player than anybody else in like the magical community. Uh, he's you know top eight in multiple grand prix, all just really known as a goblins player. Came in second place at the Invitational. He did the Star uh, City Invitational. Pat Cox. Yep. Uh, last year. Yeah, it was last year. One. And you know, we covered them earlier today, and you know we're covering goblins. Everybody loves goblins. So Twitter's blowing up. They're excited about goblins. And I'd like to know who is this goblins master who we watched play today? Okay. Do you know what yeah. round it was? It was earlier in the day. All right, just tweeted. Earlier in the day. Yeah. I, he was playing against Joe Kazdan. Okay. Oh yeah, and he got a uh, a very interesting ruling. That's true. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So he also uh, was the original writer of the Garfield cartoons. Are you sure? <laughs> All right, so tweet in for that. Try to win your chance at six months premium. If you don't win, don't worry. Uh, next round, we're, gonna, we're going to give away the uh, Gen Con badge. So that might you know, be, be a prize you want. So stick, stick with us. You've been with us all day. And uh, we'll find out who wins this Legacy uh, tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Going into game two here. Yeah, so, so some of the jokes is, what did the zombie say to Liliana? I'm just dying to meet you. That's pretty good. He's, he's dying. Yeah, this guy, uh, I'm not sure if this, guy, this is a joke or just an actual statement. I was going to get into Legacy, but my bank account was tapped out. That could be like maybe a joke or maybe just like a statement. What do you think? Jake's, Jake's just speechless right now. Well, I mean, the, the, it's like a, you know, I tapped out. It's like a magic Oh, term. tapped out. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just went right home. Yeah, it definitely That's did. So yeah. funny. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Somebody said I was going to play Merfolk and Legacy, but it was pretty vile. That's a pretty oh, good one. I like that, that one. That is good. You're like vile, like like bad? Wow. All right. I think I might have to, uh, I don't know. I think like, about these. Yeah, hopefully there's, there's going to be more than three. But if there's only three, yeah. Yeah, you got a, a one in three <laughs> shot. <laughs> Your odds are pretty good. Then you guys you just like three way split the prize. So, all right, wow, we're getting a lot of tweets in. These everybody watching definitely wants these uh, free six months uh, of premium. So, <laughs> <laughs> Did you read this one. Who was that guy sitting on his magic cards? <laughs> Player two. I don't know. I think his name was Mike Long. <laughs> Oh, oh man. man, that's a pretty old reference now. Yeah, it is. I'm surprised people remember that. That's good. Yeah, th yeah, this guy is definitely, uh, definitely old school. So, uh, I used to play goblins, but then I took a lightning bolt to the knee. You know, <laughs> it's a, <laughs> it's a Skyrim reference. Yeah. Yeah. These are pretty good. So, uh, why couldn't Solum Simulacrum find a non-basic land? Because he was he's looking through the wrong gens. Oh wow, he was oh, looking yeah. through the wrong lens. Yeah, he's you know? got the he's got the gens wow. thorn reference. Yo, th these people are super clever. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna doubt. <laughs> They're <a> geniuses. <laughs> they really are. They're super geniuses. <laughs> All you guys should not not be on Twitter. You should be on like some other website that's I don't, I don't even know like the the I don't know. what's like a really. Yeah, smart I love like, how much you love this. Yeah, I really do. Uh. All right. So, uh, most people got the answer right for the six months premium. Yeah. You know, you know, every once in a while, I get somebody who, you know, tries but comes up a little short. Maybe one day we'll come up with, the, we'll, you know, we'll give the prize to the guy who just came up a bit short. Give it to the underdog. So. What do you, what do you like? I was at? just pointing at the. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> that joke's pretty interesting, but we're not going to say that joke on air. All right. I thought it was funny. Yeah. All right. 
So uh, are they going to start to play or what? Yes, yeah. they will. Sometimes people have too much fun at Magic, especially when you're like the top four. Oh, it's a blast. It's I like, mean, whatever. you're supposed to take your time. All right, All right. so Nick uh, starts out with a ley line in the void and then has a lackey for turn one. There's Paul the source of flash here. He's able to plow that lackey. Yeah. Plowing lackeys instead of plowing moms, right? Was that the joke from before? Well, he was talking about mother runs. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. Right. Mother runs. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> All right, so Nick fetches up a basic. Let's see what he has here for turn two. And he has a Mog War Marshal. <laughs> Better take out his Kogan quick, <laughs> faster. Yeah. All right, he got it. He got Only it. if Jim Davis is here to see that. Yeah. Um, so, there, there's a Bird of Paradise. A lot of foils on the table. Yeah, Nick uh, has to decide whether or not he wants to play Echo. Yeah. He chooses to do so. Plays an Iron Mesa and bashes him for two, and Paul's going to fall to 18. Let's see what Paul's able to do here. There's a Marsh Flats. Sacrifices it. Doesn't that Marsh Flats like get removed from the game? Or, or no? Yes. Okay. All right. He realizes that now. We don't want another Knight of the Relic Curry. You know, let's go. Yeah, I mean, yeah. with Leyla in the Void, it's pretty easy to just assume that it's been removed from the game. Yeah. <laughs> when people start trying to remove their cards in the graveyard with ooze and you have a Leyla in yeah. play, yeah, you kitchen probably question like it. Yeah, there's a Kitchen Finx. It's a pretty good one here. Yeah. And uh, Paul passes the turn. Paul will go off to 19 life now, I believe, right? Or is he at 17? Um... Fetch lands plus any. No, 17's two. right. Okay. Right? Uh, I think he's at 19. You think he's at 19? I think he only used one fetch land. He did, right? Yeah, so he has a 19. Yeah. yeah. All, All right, right, so. Uh, Gen Palm Incinerator gonna... takes out the Bird of Paradise. Gen Palm away that. Yeah. And Paul, you know, having some mana trouble this game. Not a good thing for a deck like Paul's so where he's trying to cast Titans. Yeah, exactly. All right, and uh, Nicholas has an Aether Vial. He does. Like I said earlier, Aether Vial is a mulligan on a stick. <laughs> and I'm, I'm supporting that. Ooh, wow. All Inquisition, right. and that's yeah, pretty that's good. Really that leaves good. Nick with like, basically nothing. nothing. Nick's hand is yeah. bad. Yeah, it, it's really yeah. bad. His hand is really bad. Oh, man. Oof. And the top's going to help Paul uh, dig for lands. He's probably going to, yeah, he uses it on the upkeep. He's either gonna find a land, or if not, then he'll, you know, probably be a veteran the explorer. All right. Yeah, he Bright had a veteran explorer on yeah, the top he did, of the stack yeah, too, and just chose the land. So. Yeah, exactly. So uh, yeah, this game's looking good for Paul. Yeah. I mean, it, it was a pretty good start for Nicholas. You know, you're like you're thinking, all right, you got ley line, you got a, he, he's he's got a two drop. Well, I mean, they, you know, it's a pretty awkward thing when you side in ley lines and still have vials in your deck because this just happens to you. You just get draws that do absolutely nothing. Yeah. Right, if you have Vile and Leyline in your opening hand, you just mulligan to five, kind of. I, I know you, that you have these really good reactive cards. Yeah. But like, as far as like your like proactive plan, you just mulligan to five. Yeah, the Leyline yeah. and the Vile, do you agree with me? Well, Leyline, Vile, the other Leyline, you know, sometimes the one Leyline doesn't have that much of an impact if he yeah. doesn't have the, the cards. And Nicholas is probably just gonna play a second Leyline here to protect it from... Uh, yeah. I mean, Paul didn't want that veteran explorer anyway, just because of the uh, the ley line, you know. Yeah. But I mean, it, it's still a creature. It's just a dude. Yeah, just a just a one one. But uh, when yeah, he has matron kitchen comes down. Play. Yeah, I can grab a uh, ringleader. Ringleader, yeah. And that's pretty good. That was a really good draw. And see, just like that though, goblins can just come out. Like, oh, I have yeah. no cards. Here, I have a full hand. Oh wow, pernicious deed. Yeah, pernicious deed. That's really good here. That is a very good one. Yeah. Pernicious deed is such a good card. It's an excellent card. Yeah. Like, not many people play Permission Deed either. Yeah. They expect Nolo played it. At his inv uh, he came uh, top four in the Invitational. Yeah. But other than that... He had multiple Permission Deeds in his yeah. deck. All right. There's Permission Deed. And uh, he, uh, you know, pretty much hides the top. So... So, so is Nicholas going to run out as Ringleader? Um, I, I would assume so. 
Why didn't that either vial get ticked up? Or did it? It did. It just came down pretty late. That's where it's going up. Okay. Through. Every turn he ticked it? Yeah. He didn't miss one. Alright. It was on two last turn. Yeah, I guess it makes sense because he paid three mana for his matron. Alright, we have a quick judge question. I'm just figuring out what's going on. Yeah. In, in the meantime, me and Jake are going to go do a booster draft, so hopefully... <laughs> yeah, hopefully it's done by the time this judge rolling gets done. <laughs> Both of us play pretty fast. It shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah. All right. We'll, uh, we'll go over some more of these, uh, these jokes. What do we have? Oh, oh, our computer froze. Did you know that... Did you know that being a horror is the oldest profession known to humans? I think I have that right. Is that one pretty good? Some of these jokes are too advanced for me. They go over my head. I got, I got to confirm with you yeah. if they're good. All right, so did, uh, did did we resolve this judge question? Yes. What? It looks like they resolved. Yeah? They're yeah. Resolving so some people on, on uh, Twitter are saying that you shouldn't play second lane line because of Maelstrom Pulse. But then, and I guess also because of Deed. Yeah. But then, at the same time, he, he does have Wicker Bow Elder and Green and Sun Zenith. And he has a Civic Slime, right? And a Civic Slime. Yeah. But so it's kind of like uh, I mean, over, either way. Overall, these, these Ley Lines aren't that impressive, to be honest. Yeah, they don't do enough. Yeah, they really don't. It's just for, like... For to be drawing a card? Yeah. I don't like think imagine if those them two in. things were goblins. He would yeah. be in a much better spot right now. Yeah. All right, so... Another Matron. Fetches up a Jump on Incinerator. I think I just grab a matron. I, I keep wait one two three. What do you have? He has one matron left. Yeah, I mean your opponent has a deed in play. Don't you just want to only grab matrons? Kind of well, keep that he, whole thing. He wants going? to just kind of get rid of that Finks, you know. So Finks doesn't come back because of Leyline. Mhm. Mm so like, I mean Leyline did something this game. Nothing, nothing too great though. Yeah, and he still has another one in there. So yeah. All right, so Paul's going to take some damage. And, uh, yeah. All right, Paul on taps. He will draw his top that he spun last turn. Yeah, and uh, now he gets to... Uh, I guess Leyland is something, you know? I mean, he stopped Kitchen Finks. It looks like he's got, like, a recurrent nightmare in his hand. Yeah. So, I mean, it's definitely having an effect on the game. No, yeah, do it for four. He was about to do it for three. Oh, you gotta do it for four. Yeah. yeah. Two over four does a whole lot because it, yeah. not only it it kind of if you, if you can recurring nightmare and just like go off next turn, then you're probably going to get to because he's probably gonna ring later. Yeah. And if you can't, then it just forces Ooh. him to right. yeah. Look, it just forces him to you know tap out again. Though. Sure. Yeah. All right. Paul's gonna draw for the turn. Draws a Bayou. So he's got access to five lands now. What do you think he's going to try to go for? I'm not sure. I don't know what he has. Yeah, I don't know what he has either. But. I know he has a top and a recurring nightmare. Yeah. Beyond that. We do know that. Recurring nightmare, I don't think, is going to have much of an effect on this game. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, so he plays the top and just passes the turn. And Nicholas is definitely going to play this, uh, this ringleader right here. How many? Go. I'd say I say only Two. one. Two. Oh, you're so good, Jake. I know. Every yeah. time I get it right. Yeah, I'm always one off. Uh. I should get something for trying. <laughs> you're right. still sitting in that seat. Yeah. I don't want to hear any complaining. Ooh, Grave Titan. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but he only has five lands. Does he have but, a sixth one? Yeah, he has a sixth land. He's got land there. He's going to draw Grave Titan, and then if he needs the land, he'll spin the top. All right, Elves okay. took game one, everybody. Nice. Yeah. We're getting, uh, you know, this could be the fabled Elves versus Goblins yeah. finals. All right. There's that Grave Titan. So Nicholas is going to have to find an answer to it, or, or he's going to lose to it. Can you imagine Grave Titan on Legacy? Yeah, like you're playing, like, a Goblins deck. Like, this, like, like well-oiled machine yeah. of consistency. All right. How many? One. All right. Oh, oh two. so lucky. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's see. What Paul has a green sun zenith. I think Paul's gonna win this game. I think you're right. Yeah. 
you all draw the top. Oh, he only attacks with the uh, the Grave Titan? I think I would just attack with everybody. Ah. I play risque. You know? <laughs> you do. Yeah. There's a Green Sun Zenith for four. Yep, and uh, he's probably going to grab like a Wicker Bow Elder. No, hey. Green Sun Zenith gets shuffled in even though Leyline. Yeah. So he does get the Wicker Bow there. Okay. You use that one green mana, get rid of that Leyline of the Void. And now some really crazy things can start happening on Paul's side of the table that Recurring Nightmare in his hand. Yeah. Yeah, he could just... Especially Recurring Nightmare with the Grave Titan, he can start just like... Just Making for every more three guys, yeah. Has, he can make two two twos. Um, kind of like, you know, build your own Lingering Souls where you get two two non-flyers sure, yeah. instead of All right. things. But you get to do it as much as you want. There's a War Chief. There's a... Lackey. Lackey. But, I mean, Nicholas has no good blocks here. Yeah, has he, he can't just he can't attack at all. Yeah. All right, Atlantic oh, Atlantic tier. Yeah. Oof. And this is going to be game right here. What's he going to get? What is he going to get? He's going to get his silver target. A silver bullet, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Pernicious deed, yeah. Another pernicious deed. Yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't realize he had multiples of it. Yeah, he has two in the main and one on the board. Wow, yeah. his deck's awesome. He'll, he'll, he'll deed for four and, you know... He doesn't even have to. Yeah, I guess he does. He'll just D for four. He doesn't draw a card, though. Just to make sure. All right. He does not have a seventh land, though? Or does he? I think he's just looking across the table. Yeah, I mean, I think he, he didn't use the Wicker Wilder to get rid of the Ley Line? No. That's one sense step? No, he didn't. I'm pretty surprised about that. I guess maybe his plan is like he's gonna like D for four anyway. Is it, why would he, then why would he have cast the wicker bell there last turn? Yeah, I don't know. Then why would he even want to get D if this is his play? If his play is just to attack anyway, you know? Yeah, because what I don't understand is once he kills that Leyline in the Void, when he attacks with everything here, his opponent's probably just gonna multiple block the Grave Titan, like a whole bunch. And then just see if he can ring later his way out of like the zombie horde. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's got to be his opponent's play. Uh, his opponent chumps. I don't know. If, but yeah, I think like my play would have been to just throw everything in front of the zombie and see if I can ring later my way out. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, regardless, Nick Nicholas needs like a miracle here to to pull this one off. I mean, I mean, Paul's still on eleven life. Yeah. Yeah. All right, there's another war chief. There's a siege gang, but it, I mean, it just, it's not gonna be enough. Oh, kills the other now. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Nicholas passes the turn. Paul will draw for the turn. There's Paul, land number I seven. All right, he blows, yeah, all right, D for five, and Grave Titan will attack. Yeah. So, all right. Um, Paul, congratulations, you're in the finals. Yeah, this pod rock That's deck. crazy, man. In the finals. Yeah. Nicholas Padnod playing Goblins. Very well done, semi-final finish. Yeah. Pretty sweet. You know what? Nicholas played pretty well. I think he did, too. Yeah. Right? I'm trying to think I don't back. know if I like sideboarding the ley lines, but yeah. as far as actually playing the games go, he played really well, and Goblins.